Hi, this is Matt from Zervana. In this short video, I want to show you how to get Outlook to automatically filter certain emails into specific folders. This is huge because it allows you to have certain emails that don't need to hit your inbox go straight to the folders without you having to process them every time. It will save you at least eight minutes per day, and depending on the number of newsletters and other types of advertisements or emails that you receive, it can save you even more. So before I jump into exactly how to do that, I need to start by just laying some context in terms of email folder structure. The average person has about 37 email folders, but in reality, we only need an email folder for each type of email that we're going to process differently. And in our experience, there's only two. You need an archive for everything that you could ever imagine taking action on or that you have taken action on. So somebody on your team emails uh, asking a few questions that goes in the archive. And then you have your readings folder. In the readings folder, you only put emails that you would never have to take action on. It's a newsletter. It's a company update. So two folders, archive and readings. In this case, what I want to show you is how to get emails to go directly to your readings folder because you don't need to process them in your inbox. Instead, you can just go to your readings folder whenever you want to read a few emails and there you can find it. So let's jump into how to do that. By the way, I should mention that if you're a Gmail user, we have another video which you can find in the link at the bottom of this video that shows you how to do this in Gmail. All right. So I dropped a few emails in here that I've already moved into readings, but just to show you. So what you want to do in Outlook is you want to create rules. And rules are ways of getting Outlook to automate certain functions. So say you get this email from Singularity. If I want to create a rule on it, what I'm going to do using some shortcuts, and then I'll show you the, the longer way to do it, is I want to right click on that and go down to rules here. Now, if I wanted to, and this is a little bit on shortcuts here, I could have just pressed S and it would have gone right to the rules. So you can see what automatically pops up is this rule called always move messages. So if I click on that, I then select where I want it to go and I click OK. And every future email, including that one, goes right there. So let's, this one is one I want to put in archive. I'll show you how to do this in a minute, um, but right now I'm going to skip to another one that would go in reading. So this email from James Clear. Again, right click on that, jump down to rules, always move messages from James Clear. Click readings, okay. And there it goes. Info at Twitter. Again, these are updates. I'm going to do the same thing. This time I'll show you how to do it the long form way. So I go to home, rules, always move messages from Twitter. There you go. Same idea here. Say you run into some emails here that you want to change the rules on. You simply go here, manage rules and alerts, and I can see Twitter right there change rule edit rule settings there you go apply this rule to messages when they arrive from twitter and move it to the readings folder so that's how you would change that so now every time i get a message from twitter or info at twitter uh, james clear or the uh, singularity hub it's going to go directly into my readings folder and i won't see it so that's going to save me huge amounts of time i don't have to see those emails when i want to as you can see i have a lot to read in there uh, I can just go there and, and read those. The other thing I want to show you because it's closely related is the idea of quick steps. So this is an email that I actually do want to take action on. So there's going to be a few things I'm going to show you here. First is I know I need to get back to James. And so what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do it now. So what I want to do is I want to add that to my to-do list. So right here, I'm going to add in my um, unique email that's given to me from my to-do list app, Toodle Do, and um, send it there. Because when I do send it there, it's going to create a task. It's going to take the subject line and make that the task. So respond to James Kim about NDA. And I can add in this hotkey, which is an exclamation point. 
When I add three, that means it's high priority. So I send that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my quick step, which I'll show you where it is up here. I have it in my quick access toolbar, or you can find them home and right here, quick steps. So here, and I'll just pull this out for you. Um, I have a quick step with a shortcut assigned to it called control shift two, which moves it directly to my archive folder. So if I press control shift two or click on this, it's going to move that into archive there. How do you create quick steps? Again, you go into home, you click create new, and then you go down here, you name it. So we'll leave that as my quick step. And then you simply put move to folder, you choose your folder. It's that simple. And then down here, you can choose a shortcut. Quick steps only have the options of control shifts and then the numbers. So once you use up those nine, you're out of luck, um, but that should cover most things. So I have one for moving to archive and one for moving to my readings folder. The other thing I want to show you, just some cool other quick steps you might want to add. Um, this one right here, which I need to be on an email in order for that to be activated. So let's say here, if I go, this is reply with a meeting. So how many times do you get an email that says, oh yeah, I can meet on Friday at 11 and can you send me an invite? And so you go back and forth between your calendar. Instead, you can create a quick step that's reply with a meeting. And what that's going to do is take the body of the email and throw that into the invite. So now you can see right here, okay, I'm going to, I need it's Friday at 11 and it puts the invite there, automatically drops in the, the people from that previous email. All you do is add a location, adjust the time and date, and you're good to go. So quick steps are powerful tools. Again, you can assign a shortcut to that. So there you go. Showed you a few different things in that video. The main point here was to show you how to set up your email to automatically filter certain emails into specific folders so that those items that are readings don't need to hit your inbox. All right, hope that saves you a lot of time.